Hello YouTube. Well, it's happened again. My uh, engine computer on the uh, 2006 Saab 93 that I own uh, it's also called an ECU that has failed uh, again. Uh, it uh, the first failure happened uh, back in 2013. Uh, I had a used uh, engine computer put in and uh, it lasted me about 40,000 maybe 50,000 miles or so and uh, a couple days ago I've gotten a code a few codes um, check engine light came on and I retrieved the codes and they are P P is in Paul 0245 uh, turbo wastegate uh, solenoid uh, low malfunction P0201, P0202, P0203, P0204. They all indicate the injector 1, 2, 3, and 4 uh, circuit malfunction. So uh, this is kind of similar to what happened before. So I immediately knew that uh, I was having engine computer issues. And um, so I bought a... Um, a used, uh, but it was remanned, uh, I think by uh, by Saab, uh, an engine computer uh, on eBay, and uh, basically went to work and uh, reprogram uh, the uh, ECU, the the new one that I bought, a new old one that I bought, and uh, the car is working fine now. So I just wanted to share the procedure with you guys, uh, letting you know that uh, this thing works. And so the first thing that you need to do is to buy this cable, um, this uh, OBD Link SX cable that you're seeing, this red cable. And um, so right now I have it connected to the uh, ECU port right there. Okay, you see that? Uh, that's the OBD2 port. And so. Uh, that is uh, a uh, absolutely necessary tool and so once you have that then you need to go on the website that's in the instructions and uh, go download the OBT Wiz uh, software and then after that you need to download the driver uh, for the cable which is uh, you are seeing it on my computer screen and once you do that, uh, that means uh, you're good to go. And make sure that you pay attention to the uh, COM port. Uh, basically go into uh, your settings and um, look at the, um, the COM port settings. Uh, and uh, make sure that you, know, you, you, you have that uh, uh, written down or pay attention to what it is. And then um, your next step is then to download the Trionic Can Flasher, uh, and uh, you know this is uh, I'm not doing anything by the way that's uh, groundbreaking new. Uh, we have you know there's a lot of instructions on uh, the internet that uh, I'm going to give you some links. You know Trionic Tuning is one of them uh, that you can get this instruction from. And so what you do is uh, you download the Trionic can flasher. Make sure that uh, you use uh, Firefox because Chrome's not going to work. Uh, that's my experience. So once you download the uh, Trionic can flasher, and uh, your next step then is uh, come to the uh, the vehicle, and. Um, and then what you do is uh, you turn the ignition to um, on, uh, which I do not have that uh, right now. But uh, you know, make sure you turn it to uh, to uh, to the on position, okay, like that. And um, and then uh, what you do is um, you then go ahead and. Um, Let's start the uh, trying the kind flasher uh, application that's uh, that's installed on your laptop. So I have it installed. So I'm going to show it to you 
and this comes up okay and then you want to make sure that um, at this point um, there will be if your ignition is on there will be uh, probably uh, some indication on the left and then what you do is you go to read ECU at this point okay and then it's going to ask uh, that you save the uh, the file and so what you do is you go ahead and uh, have a folder set up on your laptop uh, to save the file and this would be for the uh, T8 main which you see right there okay so basically what you're doing now is you you're basically trying to download the uh, computer programming or your engine computer programs and parameters um, from the ECU onto your laptop so that you know that programming controls uh, reading the uh, ignition key uh, your throttle mapping um, you know your door locks and basically you know how the engine uh, runs and functions, you know, idling, all that stuff. What you're trying to do is download that information onto your laptop, okay? And since you're going to be swapping to a different ECU, um, so once you've done that, your next step is to go to uh, the uh, ECU type um, in that uh, box right there, okay? And you want to now select uh, Trionic uh, MCP, uh, Trionic 8 MCP, okay? And then you, you then go ahead and click uh, Read ECU, okay? And then uh, go ahead uh, and again save that file. You have to name these files, you know, whatever you like. What I did was the uh, the first one that I did I uh, the the T8 main I just named that file T8 main and uh, the next one the MCP I just named it uh, T8 MCP okay so now once you're done with all that you downloaded it okay um, and um, at this point what you want to do is you want to turn off the ignition and go to the battery. A car battery because right now you have already downloaded the uh, engine computer mapping software all that stuff onto your laptop okay so now you have the files on your laptop and so your next step is go to the uh, the car uh, open the hood disconnect the battery car battery that way you know uh, you're not going to uh, do damage to the um, uh, to the uh, ECU or you know the new one and so now you go to you know uh, the battery is right down here okay right by there so you just open up that plastic lid and disconnect the uh, negative uh, battery cable and then you want to go to the um, engine cover which you know I've already had it uh, kind of removed um, and there is the new ECU that uh, I have uh, put in uh, and here is the old one okay that's the old one that failed okay so I took this off and I installed this new one at this point the way that you remove it is uh, you want to push on these two tabs okay and then first first thing you do is you you push this down okay you push this down and then it's going to allow that metal clip to kind of come up a little bit and then you want to get your fingers down here and push these two taps out so when you do that then uh, the, uh, the the connector is going to uh, begin to disengage and you'll be able to get it done so now that you you know go ahead and uh, replace the, uh, the, the, the remove the old and uh, put in the new and so now that you've done that, you're going to go back uh, into the car uh, and at this point, uh, what you make sure you want to do 
is to um, in your computer to go to the um, sorry about that so um, go to settings okay and then go to advanced features okay make sure that uh, uh, you've got the uh, unlock system partitions uh, checked as well okay all these other stuff is going to be checked uh, you know by default but you want to make sure that you check that as well and you see that you know uh, I've got this uh, set up as COM3 that's what uh, the installation told me and then the COM speed I set it up as uh, one uh, megabyte per second and uh, I found that to, uh, to have worked and uh, at this point you are now trying to install the programming that you saved on your laptop to the engine computer that you just put in the new um, fresh or new to you uh, ECU okay so now what you do is you go hit the flash button and before you do that you make sure it's on the MCP um, you know ECU type okay and right there okay so what you do is now uh, you're gonna make sure that that's there you flash the ECU and when you flash it what you're trying to do is uh, the system is gonna ask uh, for you to make sure that you want to do it and you uh, you have the ignition uh, turned on and you would flash it with the file that you named THMCP okay so once you've done that your next step is you would go ahead and uh, go to the T8 um, for the ECU type T8 main okay so you go there and then you hit flash ECU and it's in there the the, uh, the laptop's gonna ask for uh, are you sure you want to do this and then you're gonna go ahead and flash the uh, the first file the T8 main file so once you have done that uh, while you're doing it you're gonna hear a couple of chimes that tells you that uh, you know it, it's things are happening and uh, it's okay so once you've done that um, then you turn off the uh, the next gen key and turn it back on and crank the car and hopefully um, there is uh, your fix right there okay so um, again I just wanted to uh, kind of share that with you guys uh, and uh, this software really saved me and uh, it, it's you know basically uh, saved the car for me um, and uh, hopefully uh, this helps you guys as well and uh, good luck, God bless, and see you next time. Bye.